You know, some people assume binaural microphones are just two stereo microphones. So if you can go left or you can go right, you're on binaural. But I actually have a pair of binaural microphones. And I'm going to show you the differences. So here is my humidifier. It's running. I'm going to let you hear it in the left ear. And in the right ear. Now for a pair of binaural microphones. Now this is a binaural set of microphones. And it is very interesting because with a binaural set of microphones you can actually pick up a lot more. Um, now I want to point out I've changed absolutely nothing on this recorder. So we're going to do the same test with the humidifier. First, our left ear. And now, our right ear. Binaural microphones are relatively cheap. You can pick up a cheap pair of binaurals for, well, some, some places are running, you know, $50 binaural microphones. Um, up to, well, up to very expensive, over a couple thousand dollars. Some of them are Bluetooth. Some of them are lightning powered. Not lightning as in electricity, but... Lightning powered as in your phone powers them off of the lightning port. And then others are field recorder powered. They plug into the line or mic jack on the recorder. Uh, and a lot of these microphones that you, ha you, you can run in, uh, off of uh, uh, field recorders can actually also run off of phantom power. It requires a preamp to you know, run, and I'm not meaning phantom power that the field recorder gives, because that is a definition of a, a part of phantom power, yes. But I do mean phantom power, as in you can run them into a board. Some, di uh, some, um, some binaural microphones can be uh, converted from 4 volts up to 48 into uh, studio runs. So you can run them in your studio if you choose to. And then what's cool also... If you know how to do it, uh, you could probably, and I've not tested this, so someone who may actually know more about this than I do may be able to chime in. But my recorder, my field recorder, for example, also shows up as a microphone and a, and a playback device on my Macintosh. And I'm assuming, again, I've not tried it, but I'm assuming that if you connect into the mic port on the Olympus, which is the brand I use, uh, and you have plug-in power connected, that you would also be able to actually run the binaurals that way. So there are some really good um, ways to get binaurals, like I said, cheap to expensive and middle ground as well. Um, the specific brand I prefer are the Sound Professionals. Uh, I'm actually using an ear hook uh, binaural and I will put that in the description what they are. Uh, but what they do, they hook on my ear. They do not stop anything um, from being heard by my naked ear. So it's really nice. As I'm standing by my humidifier in my right ear, I hear the humidifier. If I turn this way, I'm in front of the humidifier, or the rather the, the uh, humidifier is in front of me, and I can hear it out of both ears. I turn this way, I'm hearing it more out of my left ear, hearing more the window uh, sounds out of my right ear. So, there you go. I hope this gives you a little definition, a little understanding of the, the differences of binaural microphones 
I personally prefer binaurals myself over the Olympus microphones. And the reason for that is simply because, in my opinion, the binaural microphones have so much more definition. So anyway, take care, and may God bless you, in Jesus' name.